Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Blink Dreams application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. That's an amazing app that allows you to watch live TV as well as live sports from all over the world, including US, UK, Canada, Australia, European countries, and other regions of the world as well. And it's totally free to use and set up. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get Blink Streams application to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it totally for free from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, we just go to search on your device and start typing Downloader in the search bar. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get Downloader, it's not over yet. We still need to set it up. So, in order to actually set up the loader, we'll have to go to the settings by clicking on that button with the gear icon, then we we'll scroll down and go to My Fire TV. So, let's open it. And from here, we'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So, if that's the case and you are unable to find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. We just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have appeared for us right here. So, we open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then you have to go to install and on apps. From here, just locate the loader, there it is, and turn that option on for your device. So, what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, we open it and there is the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to France right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track us or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, we open it, Start up with the loader and wait until it loads for you. Then here on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure to click on home and then in that search bar, we'll need to enter a link, which is going to be blinkstreams.com. So let's enter it together. Once again, it should be blink streams. .com. So there's the link, you can see it on your screen right now. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously if you make a mistake, then the link is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go 
And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel, so you would get even more content about fire sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It surely helps me a lot, and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website opened, we just scroll down a bit until you find that download Blink Streams APK button. Now we need to click on it, and in a couple of moments the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on the connection speed on your device. Then you click on install and wait until Blink Streams is installed on the Fire TV. And then don't click on open yet. Instead, press on done, because this way we'll have an option to actually delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device, so click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from our fire stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's important, because by default your fire stick does not have too much of free space anyway. Then we go to the list of apps on your device, and there you'll find Blink Streams, which we just unloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way Blink Streams is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then finally let's open the app, wait until it loads for you, there just click on Continue. And after the app loads, you have options to choose channels from different countries and categories, such as US, UK, Canada, Australia, and so on. So, I hope the guide was helpful, enjoy, and see you next time. Bye-bye.